morning class. Uh, I'm here to talk about the alien portrait. So you guys should have gotten your worksheet that tells you all your instructions on it. It also has the rubric on the back. And you, if you chose the alien portraits as your projects because you had a choice of the aliens or the myth and legends project, um, you are going to start out with uh, drawing a human face. So we're going to talk about proportions today. So the, the human face actually has certain components that that uh, mathematically work for your face. So <clears throat> I'm going to tilt your my camera down so you can see my paper. So uh, I'm going to draw upside down so you guys can see. So the head of your of your of a person of a human is going to be more of an egg shape. Okay, your head is larger at the top and smaller at the bottom, so it would look like that. Okay. Now, halfway from your chin and the top of your head is your eyes. A lot of kids like to put the eyes up high on the head, and that just doesn't look right. So what that would look like is so you would have your egg shape and then kids like to put their eyeballs up here and then their hair here. Now that's not correct because what happens is then your nose becomes really long and then either your mouth is too far down or it's too far up and I get a lot of portraits that look like this very harsh lines um, and the proportions are all wrong so I'm going to teach you the proportions today so halfway between the top of the head and the bottom of the chin is about your eyes okay so I'm going to draw just a line in pencil so you can see that so this is about halfway I don't know if you can see that only halfway that's your eye line. We're going to even write like the eye, eye line. Okay. Actually, we can do it in Sharpie. That's fine. Okay. Halfway between the eyes and the chin is going to be the bottom of your nose. So about here. This is where your nose. Oh. <laughs> nose is going to be <laughs> making sure it's not backwards <laughs> okay halfway between the nose and the bottom of the chin is where your lip line will be okay this is where your lip or your mouth will be okay now when you go to draw that the eyes don't make your eyes too large because you should be able to fit about five eyes across this line so that's the width of your the width of your uh, head is about five eyes wide okay so see you can fit five eyeballs across all right I'm just going to erase that for now so we can continue on with our project Okay. All right, so there's your, your eyes. Your nose, the bottom of your nose will hit this line. Now I see a lot of this. I'll just use the, our little crazy guy right here. I see a lot of this with giant nostrils flaring out at you. <laughs> okay, noses are a little bit more subtle than that. Okay, you have the, the part that dips down and then your, your nostrils kind of come to the sides, okay? They're more slanted because of the view of it, okay? Okay, so you have your, your nose. Make that longer, shorter, however you want your, your nose to look, okay? Now the, the mouth itself is going, this line is like almost uh, in between, like where your lips part, okay? Now your lips have a crease right here. That is where the, the bumps of your lips are, okay? And then they come out, and then you come 
could come down and around. Right? In your packets, you have some examples of lips that you can use. Now, your lips should end about where your eyes are, like the, towards the side of your eyes. Right? And your nose is about as wide as to the corners of your eyes. Okay? Your irises are the, are the colorful part of your eye, and then your pupil is the darker part of your eye. Okay? Your eyelashes curl up, and then as they get to the middle, they curl the opposite way. Okay? And same here. Okay, now obviously you want to have your eyelashes a little bit more fluid looking and real looking so they, because uh, there's a lot of them, all right? Your eyebrows come uh, right above the eye. And remember, don't just draw, I see a lot of this. Don't just draw a solid line and then color it in. <laughs> Because okay, your eyebrows do not do that. They're individual strands. So you want to make sure that you're using your pencil to make those individual strands. Okay, my marker's running out. Okay. Individual strands. Your hairline is about to the middle to the top of your of your oval. Now when you use, when you do the hairline up here, uh, if you make it too high, it's going to look funny. So like you have, or don't even have a hair on your forehead at all and you just come off, off the top of your head, that'll be very strange looking, okay? So make sure that when you're doing it, you take into consideration, do you have bangs? Do you not have bangs? Is your, is your part on the side or whoever you're drawing part on the side, okay? So swoop this around and we're going to come down like that. Now if you're a boy, you have ears, right? So your ears actually go about to where your eyebrows are and come down here, past the eyes. Okay? If you have larger ears, you can make them a little longer, okay, but about there. All right? And then you have your hair. Okay. My marker's dying, of course. Let's try this marker. Oh, that one's dead too. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, this is about the very simple proportions of a face. Uh, when you do, when you draw your neck. Make sure that you have your neck coming down. We do not want little tiny, tiny neck. I see a lot of this as an art teacher. There's my neck. Okay, this is not correct. Okay, you do not want to have a, a tiny, tiny neck. Your neck actually comes out of your draw line. Okay, it comes down. And your shoulders slope down. Okay? Now your shoulders should be able to have a neck and a head on each one. That's how wide it is. I also get like very, very thin, 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 thin shoulders that are really boxy. Okay? You don't want that. Okay? So definitely you want your shoulders to be wide enough. Okay? It's a little scary looking, but that's okay. We got the we got the proportions correct. Okay, um, if you wanted a smaller chin, obviously, like you know, you can fidget with the the style of the face. You know, I have a very larger jaw. I have a larger jaw, but but some people might have a thinner jaw, depending on what character you're creating. Okay, and I want to see you guys working on making a small sketch of a human face. And then you can start adding uh, features 
So, so in your worksheet that you guys had, it says to add, subtract, or exaggerate features. So you can add another eye, you can add another mouth, uh, you can add horns, you can take away, you can subtract, so you can take away an eye, so you have a cyclops. You can take away a nose, maybe the nose is coming somewhere from somewhere else. Um, and then exaggerate would mean like you make it bigger or smaller, exaggerating uh, the, the emphasis of it. So, so the nose, like if you would make the, big, the nose bigger, it would also emphasize onto that because it's bigger. It's the biggest part. So your eye is going to go there first. Um, so those are those types of things. Here's my, my example of the alien that I made. Okay. And remember in your, in your worksheet, I'm also going to be asking you questions about your alien. So well, what kind of planet is it from? Uh, what, what kind of environment does it have? It should reflect the things that you're adding, subtracting, or exaggerating. So for example, I added gills because this is a water planet. Okay, so the water planet, she's kind of like a mermaid-ish. Uh, as you can see, she's got fins on her head, fins on her neck. She has this really cool patterning, almost like a turtle. Um, and, and that's another good idea, too, is you can also add features of animals for um, adaptations for their planet. Okay, so this is just an example of your um, alien portrait, and I hope that the video helped with your human proportions, and then you can take it and exaggerate it and, or add or subtract to create your alien project. Okay, so thanks for watching.